Hey Rap Bags, it's Jade with maybe disappointing news about Ark 2 being shown off at the Xbox Bethesda Showcase. You may have seen a video from Raz debunking the fact that Ark France website apparently were spreading the rumour that we would be able to maybe see Ark 2 at the showcase and it is what lots of us are presuming as well. June 12th of course is the launch of Fyodor, so we're expecting to see the launch trailer. And it's highly unusual for ARK to launch a DLC on a Sunday unless it's part of a bigger show like the Xbox Bethesda Showcase. And since ARK 2 is going to be an Xbox exclusive for a period of time, it would make sense that it does appear at the Xbox Bethesda Showcase. But this all reached Viva Pitch a couple of days ago as ARK France put out a few tweets talking about the fact that we would see ARK 2 gameplay at the actual conference. And this has confused a whole bunch of different websites because many of them assumed that it was indeed a real official partner. It's not massive news really. It's no different from me or Raz or any other YouTuber going out there and saying, hey, we think we're gonna see this happening. I don't think Art France have done too much wrong. That said, they do list themselves as the official Art France account, which just isn't true in English terms. But in actually French, they're just basically staying their official fan account, i.e. they're the biggest. But yeah, they have no affiliation with Art Survival Evolved whatsoever. It's just a fan account. So I wasn't really going to cover this too much, but the devs have actually responded. So they think it's important enough to comment and really say, yeah, don't listen to unofficial sources like us. Generally speaking, said said, if it didn't come from the main account Survive the Art, it's not confirmed or official. So it's put into massive doubt whether or not we're going to see any Art 2 gameplay. And since then, there's even more rumors and speculation. With Game of Revolution saying that we're going to see some of Arc 2 at the extended showcase, which is going to run a couple days later. And this is complete baloney. Again, they've actually gone and ran with what Arc France have said and then added even more lies or kind of stuff to it that isn't simply true. They pretty much say there's going to be maybe a showcase of Arc 2 at the event, if not the 12th, on the 14th, as there's going to be another event beginning at 10 a.m. PT time, which will have more in-depth analysis and gameplay shown of some of the Xbox Bethesda games. So that's the crucial thing. They've listed it as its gospel. Well, I think sometimes if we do a story or talk about it, we will say we don't think this is going to happen or we hope it's going to happen. We basically leave it open. But nowhere in any of this official stuff are they using any kind of pictures showcasing ARC. So once again, another website is kind of running with something and putting two and two and coming together with five. And this is again all based off Arc France. PC Games are also one of the biggest sites that actually ran with this story and have even done an apology one. And this is where it gets even more concrete that we might not actually see any Arc 2 gameplay. Studio Wildcard has been in touch to confirm that the Twitter account which appeared to leak this news despite appearances and claims was not an official account. PC Games N regrets the error original story follows. So is it purely just the community team wanting to temper expectations or not piss off marketing partners? Do they just want the surprise to be a surprise without everyone jumping on the bandwagon? Or is it literally, yep, yeah, a case of not gonna see any of this happening? Obviously R2 got announced in 2020 and we've not heard absolute bubkiss about it since then. No trailers, no screenshots, nothing. We're halfway through the year and we don't even have a release date for it supposedly coming out. People really didn't like me saying so a couple months ago that Art 2 will be delayed until 2023 and I listed a whole bunch of other reasons, including the history of Wildcard, how often they've let down their release times, been late, had issues and problems, and just in general how games, if they don't have a release date in the year that they're actually coming out, especially with six months to go, the likelihood is they're going to be actually delayed. So I will be showcasing the event, we'll be doing a dual stream, me and Raz. Raz is obviously hopeful for some ARC news, but I will also be taking a look at some of the other stuff going on. I'm hoping to see other stuff from State of Decay, Starfield, and of course Grounded 1.0, which has been flying for me on my second channel lately. But yeah, it's a bit of a disappointment. If we don't actually see something at this award show, and we don't see anything two days later at the extended one, when the hell are we going to get some news about R2? I'm still going to say it, I think Wildcard are just trying to make a point that you shouldn't really listen to too many non-official sources, but that's kind of boring Wildcard. It was me that leaked about Scorched Earth arriving as well as Pixark back in the day. 
Rumours can be fun as long as you've got something to back it up. So maybe Fjordor's release on Sunday isn't just there to keep up making up Ark's biggest day, in fact it is just there to be part of the Xbox Bethesda showcase. But given they've got so much else going on later on that week, and that Fjordor isn't a exclusive map, it'd be a bit weird if that was the only thing that was actually shown on the Xbox Bethesda platform. I'm sure they'll just whack an Xbox symbol on it, and of course we all know it's coming to PlayStation and PC as well, and 100% sure we're going to see something to do with Fjordor at this show. And we know the CEO of the company did state we're going to see news about the animated series and Ark 2 in the future, or very soon, especially for the animated show. So yeah, it could be just the animated show and just the Fjordor DLC trailer being shown at this showcase with no Ark 2. After this summer fest week of events, then it's Gamescom in August, I do believe. And Wildcard have shown off some stuff in the past, like the Xbox version launching, or the trailer at least, at Gamescom. But they haven't really utilised it as much as some of the American events. Obviously, Gamescom's based in Germany. But either way, if we don't hear anything from Arc 2 now, then when are we going to get that news? It just highlights once more how poor Wildcard are at talking to fans, always letting us down kind of last minute with delays and problems and issues. No one's ever owed anything. We can't pre-order the game, so I'm not that upset. Other games where you can do that kind of stuff, I get why people get upset. So yeah, it's not that big a deal. But they are consistent in doing this, and that's why I've always believed that Wildcard won't actually release Arc 2 this year. It will be next. Let me know your thoughts and opinions about that. Will we see Art 2 at this showcase? If not, when is Art 2 going to release if it's meant to be this year still? Me and Raz will be there on Sunday, like I said, going live at 4pm BST time. So that's 11am, I do believe, EST. And that should be around 8am PDT time. Arc, survival news and more. I'll see you guys soon.